Okay everybody, it's Todd All Things Archery and Shooting. We're doing part two of my wooden dowel arrows. These are the ones I made for you in my part one. Remember, these are wooden dowel that I picked up. And I would correct these are 516s, they're popular wood. And we're gonna see how they shoot through this corner grab and on the target today, shooting out of this 43 pound longbow of mine. Okay, these are four inch fletching with cresting and they have 100 grain tips on them. Okay, this total arrow weight on this one is 529 grains, okay? So, let's see how these things shoot. We're gonna be shooting at my buddy, Ricky the Raccoon today. Oh, right, here we go. 159. Sixty-three, one sixty, one fifty-nine, one sixty-three. Okay. Alright, first shots with these to the chronograph had an average of about 163 feet per second. Well, these are quite heavy, like these average these arrows average 550 grains. I normally shoot 450 grains through this bow. So this thing is shooting probably 13 to 14 grains per pound right now with these wooden dowel arrows. Now let's back up to about 20 yards and see if we can put some damage on old Ricky Raccoon here and see how she shoots, okay? Okay, the bow I'm using today is a my uh, Black Hunter Longbow. I really like this bow. I've got two of these. I got a 50 pound one also. My draw length is 29 and a half inches. I'm pulling just under 43 pounds with this bow. My 50 pound bow is identical to this, which I did a review on my on my channel here. I'm pulling them close to 54 pounds on that bow. So I love both of these bows. I especially seem to like this one the best, just because of the lower draw weight. It's a lot more fun to shoot. It is quite zippy for a 43 pound bow. All right, this is, this is quickly become my new favorite bow, and I've got plenty of bows to choose from. I really like this bow. For $100, you really can't go wrong with these Black Hunter bows. All right, let's step off 20 yards, get some shots on Ricky Raccoon, see how she shoots with these arrows here, which are the um, wooden dowel arrows I made. Okay, first shots at 20 yards with these wood arrows, wooden dowel arrows. Okay, first shot with these um, wooden dowel arrows I have here that I made. I remember I paid $17 for 50 5 16 by 3 foot long wooden dowels. And out of, those 50, out of those 100 arrows, I bought two of them, I got 51 usable arrows that they were straight enough, that weren't warped or cracked, had good, had good grain runoff. So 51 out of 100, so I paid, what, $34 for 100 arrows. I got 51, so that's what, 
one, two, that's four dozen arrows, just over four dozen arrows, arrow shafts to make arrows with. And if you figure you were to buy cedar shafts or Douglas fir or uh, Sitka spruce or ash, you're looking between fifty to seventy-five dollars per dozen. So I got four dozen usable shafts for thirty-four dollars. Okay, you can see they shoot pretty well. They, they seem to shoot to the right a little bit. I was aiming for here, and they seem to be shooting to the right just a little bit. So I adjusted my aim and sort of brought it over. So I'm not sure if maybe if these are not quite the boat not, doesn't like them or what, but I mean, it's still a pretty tight group there. I mean, that first group was maybe three inches, and that second one had a couple flyers. But let's try it one more time and see if we do the same thing. I know where my aim point's got to be at now, so we can get more of it in the center section, okay? Let's move forward. Some pretty good grouping right there, 20 yards with these wooden dowel arrows. Now, I guess there's a put down to myth that you can't make good arrows out of wooden dowels. Well, as you can see, coming out this boat, 20 yards, that's maybe two inches right there. Okay, had one flyer over here that could have been my release, but I mean, otherwise, I mean, if we want the flyer over here, I'll still throw the boat away from a three to a four inch group, but most of those other four, I'll shoot five arrows. It's pretty good considering these arrows are so inexpensive. Okay, gotta remember now, I paid $34 for 100 shafts. I got 51 arrows, so that's four dozen. So four into 34 goes how many times? About $8.50 a dozen per shafts. And the time you figure in your fletchings and your knocks and your points, you've got maybe $25 per dozen compared to $100 a dozen. So it's quite a substantial savings. Would I use these for hunting? Maybe small game or rabbit or squirrel, probably, yeah, I'm not worried about losing them. I mean, I think it'd be great for something like that. Would I want to risk them on like a big game out, like an elk hunt I'm going to go on, or maybe a white-tailed deer? Probably not. I'd probably stick with my cedar shafts for that. But for small game hunting or just target practicing or plinking or even out in the woods here, I'm, I got six more I'm going to build up with blunts on, and we're going to do some roaming with those. Um, we're going to shoot in the woods with these and see how they hold up, okay? So... Okay, let's move out to my point on distance because right now they're shooting really good at 20 yards. Let's move back to my point on distance, which is 33 yards. Point on means my where my arrow tip hits is right there. I shoot a sim I see a combination of gap and split vision, and I use my arrow point for my gap. So we'll move to my point on distance, which is 33 yards, and we'll see where we're shooting this arrow at 33 yards, and then we'll wrap it up and call it a day. All right. Ugh. 33 yards. Well, that's um, my point on range of 33 yards. 
you can see in my point on range, I'm not as accurate as I am on my regular, say, 15, 20, 25 yard range. Every archer's got their what they call maximum work range, what I call it, which is the maximum effective range they use. My maximum effective range goes from basically from zero to 25 yards. I'm pretty good. I get out to 30 or 35 or 40. It's okay, but it's not great. I gotta do more practice at those distances. So I'm trying to limit my shots at 25 yards. But this shot's at 33 yards, which is my point on distance with that bow. And I'm looking at probably five inches right here with these four. If you count the flyer to the right, it's up to about eight inches. All those will fit on a paper plate. So it's still pretty good with, a, with wooden dowel arrows though. So let's try that one more time with by my point on distance. Let's see if we do a little bit better. Ugh. Tell you what, you know, definitely sinking in this hay bale though. Remember, these arrows have an average weight of 550 grains, which are 100 grains heavier than I normally shoot out of this bow. So I'm trying, I'm trying to adjust my point of aim because of the heavier weight. Well, let's go ahead and shoot five more at my point on distance and we'll call it a day. Yeah, that's about what I. That's about what I did last round. Made a little bit bigger this one. I have three really tight. And I have one, two flyers here, but still, my point on distance, 33 yards, shooting wooden dowel arrows. I can't complain about that. That's some pretty decent shooting. I get it. so. I am noticing a little bit. And I'm sorry, guys. It's really hot out here today. One of those really hot Florida days, you know. Anyway, what I, am, I didn't know if you could see it on the camera or not. What I did notice shooting at that longer distance, the arrows, they have a little bit of a like this going through the air on them. So they're not really like like a torpedoes straight like my other arrows are. So maybe I need to tune these a little better to my bow. But they're doing like a little bit of like this going down range. It, like the, I didn't see it so much at 20 yards. But you can definitely see it from 30 yards, though. Again, it's like the little fishtail like this back and forth. Kind of like, I don't know, a fishtail, if you want to call it like an oval circle, kind of like this. So, but it's, they're still shooting pretty well. I think it needs a little tuning, it'll be fine. Um, again, these arrows have weigh 550 grains on average. It's 100 grains heavier than what I normally shoot out of this bow. I mean, they're burying deep in the target. And that's, I mean, that would have been a dead raccoon at 33 yards, you can see. It's a life-size. These are great looks. These are Encore targets. They're the one-inch thick foam targets you can put up on your hay bales. And they represent life-size animals. Like this is the raccoon. This is the average size of a raccoon. So at 33 yards, I'm shooting a raccoon. I'm pretty sure I have a dead raccoon here. So anyway, so people, I think I've dispelled that myth that people say you cannot make good arrows out of wooden dowels. Well, I think you can. These came out really nice. They shoot nice. I mean, they're really, I mean, I mean, for you got to figure, you know, like twenty-five dollars a dozen to build these arrows for a dozen shaft to build up twenty-five dollars to build complete arrows, twelve dozen. It's pretty impressive. You compare your eight dollars a dozen for the bare shafts compared to fifty to sixty to seventy dollars a dozen for cedar shafts. It's quite a substantial savings. Okay. And again, I did figure out what I got cost in these arrows per dozen, so I got eight dollars in shafts. Okay. I've got $20 in my feathers, okay? But I only use half a pack, so I'm figuring $10 for my feathers. So I buy them, I buy them in bulk, so. Um, so there's $10 plus eight, that's $18. You got your knocks, they run about $5 for a box of 12. So that's $23. And then your points, you're looking at, they run about 
ten dollars for eight to ten dollars for a box of twelve. So you get about thirty to about thirty dollars a dozen to build these arrows. Okay, roughly thirty dollars a dozen, thirty to thirty, thirty to thirty-five dollars a dozen, I should say. Okay. Compare that to buying new wood arrow shafts already built. You're looking at minimum for inexpensive shafts from like Three Rivers or Lancaster Arch Supply. You're probably looking at 120 to 150 dollar range for the same shafts. Okay, if you get the really expensive shafts, you can get up to 200 dollars for a dozen. So I mean, 30 say 35 dollars compared to 120 dollars. That's almost 100 dollars savings per dozen. That money be spent elsewhere better on more practice time, more targets, more arrows. All right, well, if anyone ever tells you guys you cannot make good arrows out of wooden dowels, don't listen to them. So I just did it. I showed you on video how they work. These arrows here, I mean, for about thirty dollars a thirty for thirty dollars a dozen for completed completed arrows for wood, that's unheard of right now. Especially most of your wood arrows are over a hundred dollars. Okay. So again, just to recap. These are 5 16 cents shafts. I had them all, I had them, um, they come in a box of 50 for $17. So I bought two of them for $100. Out of the 100 shafts, out of the 100 dowels, I should say, I got 51 shafts out of them. So that's a little over four dozen arrows with three extra on the side. And I cut them down the length of 30 inches, which is my shooting length. I went ahead and weighed each one. I grouped them by weight first, each dozen by weight, and then I grouped them by spine. And then these are the 40 to 45 spine rating ones that come out. I went ahead and I stained these with three coats of Danish oil, uh, dark walnut. We did a cresting on them with four inch uh, shield cut feathers, boning knocks, and 100 grain points on them. Um, they seem to shoot pretty well. Would I use these for hunting big game? Probably not deer or elk, but I wouldn't have any problem going out in the woods and going doing some stumping with them, which I'm the other six that I have of these, the first dozen, it's a stumping arrow. I'm going to put some blunts on them and some judo points and use those for stumping. I'll do a video of that. These would be great, I think, for small game hunting, like rabbit and raccoon and squirrel and stuff. So, um, I mean, for the money, you can't go wrong. And it's just a little extra time you got to put in to make them. I'm sure there's additional investment in the equipment and materials and knowledge, but that's easy to pick up. All right? The point is, it can be done. All right? I also want to add, I've reached 1,000 subscribers, which is just it's crazy. I mean, it boggles my mind that that many people have signed up and, and subscribed to my channel. And over this, in the last couple months, my channel's really exploded. I don't know what's causing it. You guys are, I mean, I think, I mean, I don't know. It's just, I'm really humbled about it. I mean, I think you, if you guys are sitting out recommendations and stuff, I want to thank you. I mean, maybe the content is really interesting. I don't know, but I hope it keeps going. And I'm at a thousand subscribers now, so my next goal is going to be 10,000 subscribers and move on from there. My ultimate goal is hopefully this will be one of the main channels you guys turn to for archery related and shooting related information. I really enjoy making these videos, they're a lot of fun. I enjoy shooting my bow all the time. I enjoy trying different things out, like, like you know, making arrows out of wooden dowels. I mean, sure, there's probably plenty of those on your on YouTube, as you can see, but. It's always good to see a, a, something new, and like I said, this one I think is the first one I've come across that I've seen. There's probably more out there, but I've seen this. The first one takes it from the selection process of the wooden dowel all the way through the manufacture and building of the arrow. So I hope that's been helpful to you guys. Maybe you, can, you guys can do the same thing and save you some money going forward. Also, I want to um, thank a couple of my um, extra YouTubers out there. This guy's from um, Kramer Amos, Shatterpoint, uh, Shatterproof Archery. So, Kramer, thank you. Kramer's got a great a great channel. Yeah, check it out. Be sure to swing over there and check it out. It's Shatterproof Archery. And he's got a lot of cool stuff in there. He builds a lot of cool bows on there. Uh, so I really, I mean, I've took a lot of cues from him. And he's just an all around great guy. So I mean, he'll, I mean he really, he's a really good guy. So him and his and Kasdan and his wife out there, they're all good people. So he's also got an archery um, company where he makes tabs and bow strings and arm guards and all kind of cool stuff. So. I'm going to be doing a review on his strings and his arm guards pretty soon and his, and his tab shortly, so be sure to look for that. Also, I want to shout out to uh, Grizzly Jim. He sent me a, he sent me a, one of his strings, his custom-made string with his custom-made puff balls. We'll be trying that out. I've got a video coming out I'm working on now, which is going to compare different fast flight strings, let's say B50 Daycron and different speeds and quietness from different manufacturers, so look for that. I do need to give a big shout out to my boy Clay Hayes. 
Clay Hayes has an archery channel here that deals with a lot of stuff on YouTube, like building bows. He builds bows, he builds arrows, leather goods, all kind of stuff. He's got a place here in Florida where I live at, close to me, and he's got a place out in Idaho. So, I mean, he's got a, he's got a great wife, some great kids. He's, I mean, he's a, he's a great all-around old-school archer, so be sure to check out his um, YouTube channel, Clay Hayes. But I got to say, he's on, this, it's on this series on TV, the Survival Series. It's called Alone, okay? It's on Thursday at 9.30. If you haven't checked it out, be sure to check it out. I'll give you a quick synopsis of it. Basically, this series alone, they take 10 survivalists, woodsmen, bushmen, outdoorsmen, hunters, and they take them out in the middle of God's country and drop them off. And then they got to fend for themselves, and whoever stays there longest wins $500,000. Now, the kicker of this is they're by themselves, they self film everything, there's no crew around, and they're allowed to bring 10 items, okay, to help them survive. But it's a pretty cool show to watch. I mean, I started watching it when Clay, um, well, I've heard that Clay was going to be on. I watched his YouTube channel that he was going to be on this season. So I went back and watched a couple of one, season one and two, and it's pretty interesting. So if you haven't, check it out. And Clay, just want to say to you, I know it's probably over now and you're not selling, saying anything, you're keeping your mouth quiet about it, but I kind of think you won that and you just don't want to tell nobody. But if you didn't win it, it's still props to you, my friend, for being out there. I appreciate it. It was great seeing you out there doing your thing. And I wish you all the luck moving forward with you and your family, all right? All right, so that's about it. I got nothing else to say here. I just want to say thanks, everybody. I'm at my 1,000 mark now. My next goal is 10,000. So help me get there if you can. If you like my content, click that like button for me. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't. And if you also be sure to click that bell next to that subscribe button so I can notify upcoming videos I got. I try to do two or three videos a week dealing with shooting, archery, survival, different things, okay? So I try to keep it interesting for you, all right? So I want to thank you again. This has been Todd with All Things Archery and Shooting. Until next time, ciao.